Welcome to Keenan's Empowerment Training Courses for our partners. In this episode, I would like to demonstrate the Keenan Elevator Control Solution. In order to provide everyone with a clear understanding of how each solution works and how to make choices. Firstly, we will start by giving an overview of all the Keenan Overseas Elevator Control Solutions. Providing a comprehensive introduction to the advantages and disadvantages of each solution. I assume you've learned about W3 product training earlier. W3 has several features, including extra large 90 liters delivery space and cabin that can be divided into four independent compartments. Moreover, it is equipped with 120 wide angle dual stereo vision camera. Enhance accuracy of obstacle detection. The standout feature of W3, however, is its automatic elevator control capability. This feature empowers Keenan to provide a variety of elevator control solutions to suit various hotel needs. Elevator control solution can be divided into the following two types. Keenan Abox Solution. Keenan API Solution. Keenan Abox Solution is fully self-developed by Keenan for the Abox Solution. We provide an elevator control integration module called Abox. This integration is achieved through hardware modifications to the elevator, enabling robots to control the elevator. Keenan API solution use the API that's shared by elevator manufacturer to control their elevators. This is achieved through cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration, enabling robots to autonomously call and take elevators. Keenan is responsible for API integration and development. This page. I'm going to talk about the advantage and disadvantage of each solution. The Keenan Abox solution is currently the most mature overseas elevator control solution. Whenever local regulations permit elevator modifications and the deployment conditions are suitable, we prioritize the adoption of the Keenan Abox solution. This solution has many advantages. It uses our own developed software and hardware. So there's no need for a long development process. This solution is very stable and has a very high success rate for calling elevators, almost 99.8%, no matter what the elevator brand is. As long as the conditions are suitable, a box solution can work. Currently, there are many successful deployment cases across various countries overseas. However, it's essential to note that the Keenan Abox solution requires elevator modification and circuit breaking, which involves a lot of installation work. The installation and deployment should be carried out by local and qualified construction teams specializing in elevator modifications. Appy solution is a way where we connect our cloud with elevator manufacturers cloud using set of API instructions. It's particularly useful in places where local laws don't allow us to change the elevators. The great thing about this solution is that it doesn't require any elevator modification works, saving us from the complex deployment works. However, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. First, API solution will be a bit sensitive to the quality of network environment. Bad network might cause W3 failed to call elevator. Second, since API of each elevator brand is unique, we have to develop one by one. This process is quite time consuming and involves significant development and testing. Currently, we've successfully implemented the API solution with Cone, and we're actively working on making it work with Otis. Lastly, it's important to note that elevator manufacturers may charge the hotel for various things including upgrading the elevator system of hotel and using their API. Next, I will illustrate exactly how each solution works and workflow of each solution. Now let's move on the first, Keenan Abox solution. Let's take a look at the images on the right side. These modules are all part of the Abox solution used for elevator control, provided by Keenan. Abox has two main parts, the slave and master modules. We need to install the slave module at the top of the elevator car. The slave module will be connected to each floor button on the elevator panel via IO cables with the purpose of controlling the elevator button on each floor. W3 communicates with the Evox slave using LoRa to make elevator calls and operate destination floor buttons. In addition, an RFID sensor needs to be installed next to the slave module. 
This sensor will identify the current floor of the elevator by detecting the tag placed on each floor and return the floor information to the Ebox slave. The slave will then relay this data to the robot using LoRa. In this way, W3 will know the current floor where the elevator is located. What's more, you can see, there is an Ebox master placed at the top of the shaft, communicating with the robot via Wi-Fi 4G. In practice, W3 can use Enslave module to complete all operations of calling and taking the elevator via LoRa. So why do we need communication through Wi-Fi for channel? LoRa is the preferred communication method while W3 calling elevators. But when the elevator is a certain distance away from the robot's starting floor, the signal may be lost. In such cases, the robot's elevator call command needs to be sent through the 4 Wi-Fi channel to the Ebox master, which will then relay the command to the slave via LoRa. Once the elevator reaches the floor where the robot is located, the robot can switch to direct communication with the slave via LoRa. In simple terms, the Ebox master's communication method serves as a backup option, ensuring reliable communication with the elevator. Here, I want to introduce the business workflow for Ebox solution. Firstly, after confirming the willingness to purchase the W3 and get the permit from the hotel side, elevator manufacturer and other stakeholders to do elevator modification and circuit breaking. We will provide W3 Robot Deployment Environment Survey Sheet for hotel side to fill in. In cases where some are unwilling to fill out the form, local distributors or Keenan Technical Support can assist with on-site surveys. Once the survey forms are returned, the pre-sales team will check whether the Ebox solution can be used and whether any adjustments are needed to current Ebox elevator control solution. This step is crucial because the structure of each elevator panel is different. And certain non-standard elevator panel structures or narrow elevator space may not meet the deployment requirements of W3. Conducting a prior survey helps to find these issues and modify the elevator modification plan if necessary, avoiding unnecessary on-site trip for elevator construction team. Next. Sales and distributors should actively search for a local elevator construction team with necessary qualifications for elevator modification. It's highly recommended to choose the elevator's original manufacturer or an elevator maintenance company as the project's construction team. These teams often possess extensive experience in elevator modifications and can handle a wide range of complex situations effectively. Then... The elevator modification construction team installs, under the guidance of Keenan Technical Support Engineers. W3 Technical Support will handle W3 mapping and do backhand configuration. Finally, after completing all installation, deployment, and testing, the hotel side conducts an inspection and acceptance. This page displays the wiring diagram for the Ebox slave. Each Ebox slave has a total of 32 I.O. ports with the first one used for the door open signal, and the rest are used to connect to each floor's buttons. For the standard Ebox solution, we recommend connecting a maximum of 28 floors for scenarios with more than 28 floors. It is necessary to confirm with Keenan Presales team in advance. In addition to power supply and I.O. ports, we can see that the Ebox slave also has interfaces for connecting an RFID sensor and requires the Placement of a LoRa antenna. This page displays the wiring diagram for the Ebox Master generally. The Ebox Master should be placed in machine room. If there is no machine room, then the Ebox Master should be placed on the top of the lift shaft. The network cable should be provided by customer. And the Ebox must in the whitelist of hotel network system. This page mainly shows some pictures of our actual installation on site. Keenan Ebox solution has been successfully implemented in many hotels overseas. Now, let's take a look at a successful case video. The GPRO Valparaiso Palace Hotel and Spa is located in the city of Palma de Mallorca. Our Keenan Butler Bot W3 got its new job in this five-star hotel, providing smart hotel solutions.
With the IoT system, the robot can automatically call the elevator according to the setting. With SLAM positioning and navigation technology, ButlerBot W3 is able to plan the best route. The robot is also able to call the guest room on its arrival, offering contactless delivery which protects personal privacy better. After completing the task, it can take an elevator to return and recharge itself. Keenan Butler Bot W3, your very own butler. Keenan. Let's move to the third section, the detailed introduction of API Cloud Solution. API Solution controls elevator by interacting with the standard API interfaces in cloud, service which are provided by elevator manufacturer. At present, elevator manufacturer with API interfaces are OTIS, Cone Schindler, Hyundai, and TKE. Each API protocol is different, so we need discuss with manufacturer one by one. And this solution is charged by elevator manufacturer. We have already collaborated with Cone to complete API development globally. We successfully passed Cone V2's official test cases. We can see that this certificate has been issued by the Cone European headquarters. Let's explain the principle of the overseas Cone API solution. The robot will upload elevator calling commands and related data to the Keenum cloud. It will then control the elevator and exchange data by interfacing with the Cone cloud. Similarly, the elevator will also upload data to the Cone cloud. This bidirectional communication allows for efficient control of the elevator and seamless data exchange between the robot and the elevator system through the respective cloud platforms? Certainly. Here are some features to note that. 1. Elevator control system is all responsible by the original. Elevator factory cone and not all cone elevators are compatible with the API solution generally. Cone elevators after the year 2000 can be upgraded to use the API solution. But it's essential to confirm with cone case by case. 2. Con will provide cloud elevator accounts, allowing access to elevator group information currently. Keenan Cone API solution only supports single elevator group calling. A single elevator group may consist of multiple elevators, as defined by Cone's backend. This also requires confirmation with Cone. 3. The API solution is sensitive to network conditions. A thorough environmental survey is necessary and it's crucial to ensure wireless network coverage within the elevator car, especially for 4 or Wi-Fi 4. Cone will charge hotel side API related fees, including elevator hardware and installation fees used for elevator upgrade, API usage fees. Need to be confirmed with Cone case by case. Cone API elevator control solution also requires hotel side to fill in W3 environment deployment. Survey form. There is a dedicated pre-sales survey form for the API solution, which is different from the Ebox Solutions survey form. There are two points to note that. First, send the elevator control cabinet model to the Cone API business contact person to confirm whether the API solution can be used. Second, use mobile phone test if the network signal is strength for the running of W3, if not enough strong to meet the requirement. Need to communicate with customers to enhance site network signal, such as adding wireless AP, etc. The test method and requirements of the API solutions site signal strength are that the mobile phone should be placed in the center of the elevator car one meter above the ground. Keep the elevator open. Use the signal test APP to test. Wi-Fi signal strength has to exceed 65 dBm. For signal strength has to exceed 80 dBm, Currently, we have already completed API elevator control development with Cone and Japan OCTA. We also have plans to collaborate on development with TK Yotis and Schindler in the future. This is a success case video in Singapore using Cone API solution.
The above concludes the entirety of my training. I am deeply grateful to you for taking the time to listen. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Keenan Presales team for assistance. Thank you.